But moving on to our last topic of the night. Um, and hey, I know you're loving what you're seeing here. Give us a subscribe. Give us a like. Come back every Wednesday because we're going to have more hot topics for you and, and great topics to go over in the world of sports. So make sure you're giving us a like and make sure you're giving the show a subscribe. Um, but moving on to the NBA All-Star game, they're trying to force an All-Star game, in my opinion. I think that's the wording. They're trying to force an All-Star game. What do you think about that, Pat? Do you think it's a smart move from the NBA? I, I, don't, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. You have this league that did a phenomenal job with the bubble. They did a great job reacting to what happened with the pandemic. You know, Adam Silver is a very smart commissioner, but I don't, this is dumb. I don't understand. I know they're trying to make money, but you're doing a couple of things. You're playing a game that doesn't matter. The NBA All-Star game's fun. You know, there's no defense. It's, you know, it's out of all the All-Star games, the Pro Bowl's the worst. And then I think the NBA uh, All-Star game is the second worst, the actual game. <laughs> the funnest part, I think, is Saturday night when they have the dunk contest, the three-point contest, the skills challenge. That's the stuff that I like watching a lot more than the actual game. And they're not going to have that. They're, they're talking about having the dunk contest at halftime of the All-Star game, which makes sense because they're just going to have one day of, you know, they're not there the whole weekend. They're just going to do one day of it. But why do it at all is the part that I don't understand. And you got to remember, too, the actual logistics of it. What you're doing is you're taking – the best players in the NBA, you're bringing them all together inside in one arena. You're inviting a COVID super spreader at the All-Star game. You just are. All these guys who have been playing and trying to stay at, away from COVID this whole time, they all get together. They're all buddies. They're all friends. They're gonna. Some of them are just young guys. They're going to go out. They're going to mess up. And then they're all going to be together, and it's going to spread amongst all the best players. I think this is so... I think this is dumb. I don't understand. For a smart guy, Adam Silver, I don't know what you're doing. I think this is I think this is a bad idea. I think sadly, once again, this is another move that is money driven and money directed, that they're trying to force an all-star game so they can have commercials and, and sponsors on the court and stuff like that. So this is the NBA trying to scratch some money. I mean, you're getting plenty of money. You charge a hundred dollars for your jerseys. Give me a break. So you're getting plenty of money at this time. So I think this is a money grab. And I think even trying to force the uh, dunk contest during halftime proves how much you're trying to force the whole weekend and try to force the game. And you brought up a great point with it being a super spreader. And not a super spreader for a country, but a super spreader for the NBA. You're having all the great NBA players come in. Like you said, they could contract it. And now they're going to bring it back to their individual teams. And then that could go to their teammates, creating a more of a problem than you're already dealing with at this point. So I'm, I'm with you. I think this is a stupid idea. I'm really shocked that they're trying to go forward with it. But then again, it's all about the money. And that's really why they're trying to force this down our throats. But here's the best part is some of the NBA players have already spoken out against it. LeBron James, number one, saying, my heart is not in an all-star game right now. And I would not want to play in an all-star game. And then you had Giannis say that he would not want to play in an all-star game. So what are you going to do when your two biggest stars, arguably, even though I don't like Giannis, arguably <laughs> <laughs> show up and, and say they don't want to play in the all-star game, right? I mean, do, who wants to watch that game? I'm going to be honest. I haven't watched the game probably since, I don't even know, 2007, maybe even before then. I do watch the skills competition and the dunk contest because, like you said, those are a lot more exciting a lot more driven from like, you know, social media and people getting involved and the fans getting involved. But the game itself is just n no defense. It's a dunk show. Uh, everybody's just shooting until the last like quarter, basically, when they all decide that they want to play for the bonus money, because that's what it is. One team yeah. gets a bonus check for winning. So when they all decide that they want to kind of be money hungry at that point and, and then play some defense. So I guess when I have watched it in the years past, it's only been the fourth quarter. But yeah, I mean, you don't need you don't need an all-star game right now during this COVID situation. Give these players a rest. They're just coming off a short break too. You only had 71 days in between the seasons from the bubble, so I think you should just give them a, a week rest or however many days rest, and then just get back into the season and kind of let these guys get back into the swing of things with their normal teams. And and you know, like you said, most of these NBA franchises are trying to keep their their teams and their players in their team bubble, at least, in their city bubble, and trying to protect them that way. So let's just keep doing that, and, and I think that'll be a smarter idea. 
Right. I mean, if you want to try to at least make a little bit of money, have have an NBA All Star, you know, TV special where you come out, you announce the All Stars, you announce, you know, the All Star teams, you announce, you know, different awards or, or whatever you want to do, and just have something like that where you bring players in, they're on Skype, they're on Zoom, and you interview them, and you maybe do something different. Maybe you have that, you know, they were doing horse, you know, back. When, uh, when the pandemic was really, really bad when it first came out. Do something like that, where you're still engaging the players, you're engaging the fans. It's not going to be the same as having an all-star game. You can't have that many fans in the arena anyway. So why are you trying to force an in-person all-star game like this? I, I, just, think it's a, I just think it's a terrible idea. And the, the thing about the skills competition, the dunk contest, the three-point contest, a lot of times it's the non-all-stars that are in those contests. And those types of guys get a little more attention if they win the three-point contest or they perform well in the dunk contest. When they start, you know, you go to the all-star game, we all everybody knows the guys in the game. And, and if, if an all-star who's maybe a little bit lesser known, you know, has a good all-star game, that doesn't make them a better player or, or give them more attention. They're already an all-star. We all know who these guys are, especially now in the NBA. There's so many different ways to follow the NBA. You don't need to do this. I just think it's a bad idea.